What's up, guys? Chilling out. Um, didn't make a video last night because I was uh, pretty much, I didn't sleep for 18 hours, so I had to go to work, come home, and pass out. So that was my plan. But Philadelphia Eagles, man, holy shit. Probably the best game I've seen in a while. Um, the defense, the pressure, the penetration, fucked up Andrew Luck. Um, that offensive line couldn't hold him back. Um, the defense, I don't really have much to say. I mean, I have, I have a lot to say, but they did very well. They did what they had to do. The coverage was great. No problems. Um, offensively, Bradford looked very, his composure was great. I mean, he looked, he looked focused. Uh, the numbers were great. You can't, you can't get any better than that. You can't. This is the Sam Bradford we've wanted and we've been looking for. You know, that's throwing downfield. The offense we've been looking for that's throwing downfield. Doing some stuff. Um, the running back position, uh, Ryan Matthews has been doing good. I mean, he's been looking healthy as ever so far in the preseason. Not too bad. And uh, he's getting some, you open up a little hole for him. He can get a lot of friggin' yards with his physical body, but sometimes he can fight for those yards through tackles, which is kind of nuts. It's crazy, but it's true, though. Um, another thing, uh, Wendell Smallwood kind of left with an injury. Apparently, I don't, there's no update on that yet, but he was on a kick return, of course. You know, he comes back and, you know, he gets injured. So it's probably not going to be serious, but he doesn't have enough playing time. But he... I think he was on a punt return or a kick return, and he, like, in which they said that they reminded him of, like, a Darren Sproles type of guy, and he, uh, he was running, he was running around people pretty damn quick, so I saw a little bit of flashes of light with his speed, um, which was awesome, and then, um, let's see, oh, yeah, I forgot, the most important of all, wide receiver. Now, I'm sitting at the house, and I'm like, Sam Bradford throws a nice pass to Chris Givens. Perfect. What was it, a 15, uh, 15 18-yard pass? Like, all right, nice, nice. Caught the ball, got tackled. Nelson Aguilar gets a freaking pass to him. It was a little behind him, but it was catchable. It was very, very, very catchable. And most NFL player, NFL wide receivers have to catch a, a ball that's behind you. I mean, that's there's a lot of receivers that can catch that. He totally muffed it and got intercepted, which led to a field goal. So that was three points right there. I was fucking livid pissed that he did, still didn't catch the ball. And so far... I think he's the worst on a team, wide receiver wise. I know it's, I know you can't. He's got the speed. He's got all the attributes, just like Huff. But look what Huff did tonight, last night tonight. Oh God, I work nights, so I get my my night days mixed up. Look at Huff. He is. A, he has all the tools. He has the agility. He's got the explosiveness off the line. He has got all the tools to being a top five wide receiver, maybe even better. But the problem is he's not consistent. Consistency is when we've been screwing up with this guy. Consistency is what's led to has what led to him not being a productive wide receiver for the past, you know, three years. So we have to do something with him. The reverse was awesome. The lateral reverse, it was awesome. I thought I, that trick that tricked the fuck out of me when I was watching it for the touchdown. Then he had, you know, he did a little slant in the middle. It was great. Look, I know Colts, the Colts defense, you know, Vontae Davis, you know, half their, a little bit less than half of their defense was out. But I'm not making a deal out of it because Bradford did fucking well. And to keep numbers up like that. I mean, it was pretty good. And they were, blitz, they were blitzing us a lot, too, the other night. It wasn't uh, some easy-ass blocks we had to get. We had to hold them off for a bit. But 
I definitely enjoyed it. Huff um, is going to be guaranteed a spot on this team because of that. Because what he can contribute. I've listened to Mike Quick on the radio too. Sometimes at work I'll listen to the game between Merrill Reese and Mike Quick. I'll just listen to it on audio because I can just listen to the game while I'm working and stuff. You know what I mean? I already know what's happening, but it's it's cool just doing that. Um, you know, Mike Quick was talking about, you know, Josh Huff and there's so much more he can bring to the table. He is guaranteed a spot on this team. And as soon as he started getting touchdowns, it was like, this is why. We need this guy on this team because he could do stuff like that. He's quick, uh, open field. In the open field, he's amazing. After the catch, he's amazing. No one can catch him. It's like impossible. But hopefully his confidence is has rising above because he really hasn't been doing much for us at all. Nelson, he's doing better than Nelson Aguilar is. Aguilar is just after next year, Aguilar is going to be gone unless we have to. At least we need to get somebody. Aguilar's got to step the hell up. Not like one catch, you know, every other game or some shit. Huff too. We have to bring this to the regular season. That is the whole picture. We have to bring this to the regular season. We have to. We can't get our hopes up now from one good fucking game. This has to carry over to the Cleveland Browns. And we have to see this. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous because... I'm happy because it was a good game and I was happy for the players. But I'm nervous because it's just a repetitive thing that we've done. We've done, you know, at the preseason last year, we were scoring over 40 points a game, and it was like, we're going to win the fucking Super Bowl last year. You know what I mean? But now, we might have a chance if they stay consistent. These receivers got to get together. These running backs got to get together. This, this is fun. I'm not worried about the defense so much. The only thing I'm really positive about is the defense. That I know because we have literally pressured now, the Tampa Bay game was, like, the first game. So, it was, like, we had to get a feel of what this defense was going to be. And they had to get a feel of what this defense was going to be. You know what I mean? They're playing together in a game for the first time. And then, soon, see, they start gelling. The more they gel together at practice, the more they gel together and bring it onto the field, the better it's going to be. But, when they got to the fight, DGB caught two passes. One where he caught a little slant route in the middle. And... <laughs> Doyle Green Beckham totally caught a pass, bounced off of one guy, kept running for another, you know, three, four yards, and then got tackled to the ground. That big 6'5", 240 pound man couldn't get taken down. Then when they got to what, the 10 yard line, the 8, the 10 yard line, I sat there and I was like, watched him throw a fucking fade route to the left. I fucking knew they were going to throw a fade. I was, I was like, maybe. I said, let me see. I was like, I was like, please throw the fade. Please throw the fade. And I said that really loud in front of everybody. And he threw the fade right to DGB. And DGB just fucking caught that shit. You know, a better pass than what Chase Daniel threw. Because Chase Daniel threw a fucking... I guess he doesn't know how to throw a fucking fade away yet. Since, you know, he's been playing under Drew Brees and fucking Alex Smith. <clears throat> so, DGB just hauled it in. Boom. Just grabbed it over his head. He is going to be a mismatch. NFL Network called him, when DGB is on the field, it's called a mismatch problem because he will be just him on the field. We don't even have Jordan Matthews on the field when we're doing this. We did that game yesterday. No Jordan Matthews, and look what we can do. It's fucking nuts. We get Jordan Matthews in. If Huff plays to his ability... Randall had, I think, three catches. He had a first down, and then he caught uh, a pass for a few yards... You know, eight yard pass, seven yard, uh, seven yard gain. Um, I, I think Randall will make this team. I hope so because we need we need Randall. We definitely need Randall. Um, but Chris Givens got released today. Um, he only caught one pass for nineteen, two passes for nineteen. Uh, I think one pass for nineteen yards or not much. That was really it. And uh, this the, he hasn't really gotten open at all the past few weeks. And today was his last shot. So. That's fine. I want Ruben Randall on this team. I know he's got it. I know once the regular season starts, he'll be fine. But we need these other guys to get consistent. So, all right, guys. I had a good time watching this game. Um, next week is just bullshit, you know, backups. 
They're going to throw in some receivers in there next week, some outside wide receivers next week. So they're definitely going to throw in receivers again. Um, that's probably the only stars that will be in is the receivers next week. Hopefully Carson Wentz can play. If not, uh, the game's going to be a boring-ass game to watch. But with him there, it's going to be very exciting. And to see him play for a while, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, yeah. So let's get ready for the regular season. I'll come up, I'll get a video out to you guys tomorrow or whatnot. And, um, all right, guys. So, uh, I enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did too. We just got to stay consistent. We just, I'm praying that this fucking travels around to the fucking regular season and stays there with us. And these fucking players got to get their confidence up. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bleed green. Love you guys. Joey shakes out.